Dim Sum from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at www.wikipedia.org. Dim Sum, a term in the Cantonese dialect of Chinese, is usually a light meal or brunch eaten sometime before morning to early afternoon with family or friends. In Mandarin, it is known as Dian Qing, or literally translated as to touch the heart. Classical dim sum includes buns, dumplings, and rice rolls, which contain a range of ingredients, including beef, chicken, pork, prawns, and vegetarian options. Many dim sum restaurants also offer plates of steamed green vegetables, roasted meats, congee porridge, and other soups. Tea is always served, giving it the alternate name of yum cha, which means drinking tea. In some countries, such as Britain and Australia, the term dim sum, or commonly known dim sim, is incorrectly used to refer specifically to Chinese-style dumplings. They are often available at snack bars, even those with no other Chinese food on the menu. Dim sum can be cooked by steaming and frying, among other methods. The size of the dim sum are usually small and normally served as three or four pieces in one dish. It is customary to order family style, sharing dishes among members of the dining party. Because of the small portions, people can try a wide variety of food. Dim sum dishes can be ordered from a menu, or sometimes the food is wheeled around on a mobile cart by servers. Traditionally, the cost of the meal is calculated based on the number and size of the dishes left on the patron's table. Some modern dim sum restaurants record the dishes on a bill at the table. Not only is this tidier, it also prevents patrons from cheating by concealing or stealing the plates, which has been known to happen. Servers in some restaurants even use different stamps so that sales statistics for each server can be recorded. History. Travelers on the ancient Silk Road needed a place to stop, so tea houses were established along the roadside. Rural farmers, exhausted after working hard in the fields, would also go to tea houses for a relaxing afternoon of tea. At first, it was considered inappropriate to combine tea with food, because people believed it would lead to excessive weight gain. Therefore, tea house owners began adding more variety of snacks, so the tradition of dim sum evolved. In Hong Kong and most cities in Guangdong Province, many Chinese restaurants start serving very early in the morning at around 6 a.m. It is a tradition for the elderly to gather to eat dim sum after morning exercises, often enjoying the morning newspapers. For many Southerners in China, yum cha is treated as a weekend family day. Consistent with this tradition, dim sum restaurants typically only serve dim sum until the afternoon. Other Cantonese cuisine are served in the evening. Nowadays, various dim sum items are sold in a takeaway manner for students and office workers on the go. Though dim sum is a Cantonese word, the idea of a wide variety of small dishes for lunch also holds for other regions of China. Therefore, the term Northern Dianqing or Shanghai Dianqing have come into use. Tea. The drinking of tea is as important to dim sum as the food. A popular tea which is said to aid in digestion is bo lei or pu er, which is a strong fermented tea. Chrysanthemum, oolong, and green tea can also be served as well. It is customary to pour tea for others during dim sum before filling one's own cup. A custom unique to Hong Kong is to thank the person pouring the tea by tapping the index and middle finger together on the table. This is said to resemble the ritual of bowing to someone. Given the number of times tea is poured in a meal, it is a time saver in loud restaurants, as an individual being served might be speaking to someone else or busy consuming food. Dim sum restaurants have a wide variety of dishes, usually several dozen. Among the standard fare of dim sum include dumplings or gao. This is a standard in most tea houses and are made of ingredients wrapped in a translucent rice flour or wheat flour skin. Though common, steamed rice flour skins are quite difficult to make. Thus, it is a good demonstration of the chef's artistry to make these translucent dumplings. The most common type is ha gao, which is a shrimp dumpling with a rice flour skin. There are also dumplings with vegetarian ingredients, 
such as tofu and pickled cabbage. Buns or bao. Baked or steamed, these fluffy buns are filled with different meats and vegetables. The most popular type is cha shu bao, a bun with barbecued flavored pork meat and onions inside. It can be either steamed to be fluffy and white or baked with a light sugar glaze to produce a smooth golden brown crust. Shanghai steam buns or shaolong bao. These little juicy dumplings are filled with meat or seafood and are famous for their flavor and rich soup inside. Shanghai steam buns can be recognized by their unique design as the filled wrapper is gathered into fine folds at the top prior to steaming. Taro root dumpling or yu gok. This is made with mashed taro stuffed with diced shiitake mushrooms, shrimp, and pork. It is surrounded by a light and fluffy crispy brown dough. Spring rolls or tundren. These consist of various types of vegetables such as sliced carrot, cabbage, mushroom, and woodier fungus, and sometimes meat, and are rolled inside a thin flour skin and deep fried for a crispy outside. Glutinous sticky rice is wrapped in a lotus leaf into a triangular or rectangular shape. This is steamed with ingredients inside the rice ball, such as an egg yolk, chestnuts, pork, or chicken. The leaf itself is not eaten, though its flavor infuses the rice during steaming. Rice noodles or chong fun. These are steamed rice noodle rolls served with different types of meats or vegetables inside, but can be served without any filling. Fried rice noodle rolls are fried after they are steamed. Popular fillings include shrimp and barbecued pork. Shu mai are small steamed dumplings with pork inside, a thin wheat flour wrapper. Turnip or radish cakes or luo bo gao. These savory cakes are made from mashed daikon radishes mixed in with bits of dried shrimp and pork that are steamed and then cut into slices and pan fried. Phoenix talons or feng zhao. These are actually chicken feet that are marinated and then steamed in a black bean sauce. This sound file and all text in the article is licensed under the GNU free documentation license, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.